Hello everyone, this is uh, Alex Sticky on behalf of PCR Online, providing you the latest news from ESC 2023. Dear friends, PCR companions and uh, PCR Tricuspid fellows, it is a great pleasure and honor to welcome Dr. Julian Dreyfus, cardiologist at the Centre Cardiologique du Nord, Saint-Denis, France, and uh, re a great friend and one of the best tricuspid imaging experts to talk about uh, the late dragon trials he presented at this ESC 2023. Timing of intervention in patients with severe tricuspid regurgitation. Julian, thanks so much for the opportunity to talk about this important study. Th th thank you, Alessandro. Thank you. So you, you're correct. I have the great privilege and honor to present my our work at this uh, late breaking session with a simultaneous publication in the European Law Journal. So you know that TR is uh, associated with a high burden, but despite this high burden, only few patients are referred for, for nasal strike piece valve surgery because it is considered as a high post-operative mortality and because we don't have strong evidence regarding benefit of TR correction. Transcanser intervention is now considered as a less invasive alternative to surgery and is uh, the mode of TR correction that is the most used in several countries, but we still don't have any evidence regarding uh, its efficiency regarding especially improvement of mortality or heart failure admissions, as we have seen in uh, the trial minute study. And we have shown that the clinical presentation is a main driver of the post-operative outcome and develop the tri score, the tri score that is based on eight easy to ascertain parameters, which are age, NYHF functional class, which are right-sided heart failure signs, daily dose of furosemide, liver and kidney function, left ventricular and right ventricular function. And we have developed this score to predict in hospital mortality uh, after isotrexpid valve surgery at the individual level. And this score is ideally suited to stage TR populations. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. Uh, Try score is a, a game changer in our practice and uh, we are uh, really uh, looking uh, to uh, to see it's very, very potential. And uh, what is uh, the design of the study you presented? So uh, the aim of the study was to evaluate whether the benefit of an intervention and its modality vary according to TR disease stage as assessed using the tri score. For this purpose, we have built a multicenter international registry gathering adult patients with severe functional isolated TR on native valve and for whom the eight mandatory parameters to calculate the tri score were available. Those patients were included in more than 30 centers across 10 countries. The population was first divided in according to three treatment modalities that were medical therapy for patients with no interventions, surgery for patients who underwent an isolated tri valve surgery, which may be a repair or replacement, but excluding patients with no Concomitant in, with concomitant intervention and uh, transcasia valve repair, including um, patients with multiple repair techniques, but excluding patients with transcasia valve replacement. We also divided the population according to three uh, tri score categories to assess the clinical stage. Low tri score, meaning patients with tri score between zero and three, intermediate tri score, intermediate risk for patients with tri score of four or five, and high risk, high tri score for patients with a tri score between of six or more. And the primary endpoint was a very robust endpoint. It was the survival rate at two years. Wow, that's fantastic. Also because uh, we have a different kind of treatment and a long follow-up uh, considering hard endpoint that is uh, fundamental to uh, have uh, this kind of data in uh, the trochaspid field. And uh, what uh, about uh, the significant findings uh, about patient clinical baseline characteristics in these uh, study arms? Exactly. So finally, we, we could include 2,413 patients. Uh, there were uh, 1,247 patients in the medical group, 551 patients in the surgical group, and 645 patients in the transcatheter valve repair group. Uh, patients were older in the transcatheter one and younger with more prior left valve intervention in the surgical one. And um, in patients with in, 
within intervention groups, meaning surgical and trans cancer, they were more frequently female, more patients with right sided heart failure signs, usually high, higher uh, LV uh, function, more patients with moderate to severe RV dilation, but less patients with uh, RV, dial RV dysfunction. In the surgical group, uh, one third were repair and two thirds were replacement. In the trans cancer repair group, uh, three quarters were edge to edge repair and one quarter was uh, annuloplasty. The main finding, finding first, um, we looked at the impact of the tri score and we have shown that uh, whatever treatment modality, when the uh, tri score increased, survival rates uh, significantly decreased. And uh, in patients with a high tri score, uh, in hospital mortality, was 41% at two years. So meaning that 41% of patients with a high trace score were dead at two years. So it's very interesting uh, finding. And these survival rates are uh, increasing as the trace score increased. So that is the first point, point because it confirms uh, what we have pre previously shown for in hospital mortality. No, it works also for uh, mortality at two years, whatever the, street, whatever the treatment strategy, uh, whatever the medical, surgical, or trans cancer, when you have a high tri score, uh, you incur a poor outcome. That is the first point. The second point is that if you look overall, overall, whatever uh, overall survival rates at two years were the same, whatever uh, the treatment strategy between the three groups. Just like we have seen in Triluminate, uh, there is no difference in survival at two years. But then, and that's why it's interesting, you have to assess uh, to the tri score. And when you look at those three uh, tri score, three uh, tri score uh, uh, grades, categories, you can see some difference. First, if we look at surgery, uh, in uh, patients uh, who had a low tri score, uh, uh, survival rates at two years were significantly higher. Uh, after surgery compared to the medical therapy. So patients with low tri score, when you perform surgery, uh, you have improvement of survival. It didn't, uh, there was no uh, statistical significance in the intermediate and the high tri score for surgery, but only in the low tri score category. What about the trans valve repair? When you make a comparison to the medical therapy, there was no survival improvement whatever the tri score very important point no difference uh, between between trans valve repair and medical therapy whatever the tri score for survival rates at two years and that is an important point we looked at patients according to procedural success we define pro uh, procedural success uh, for patients with mild to moderate tr or lower uh, tr at discharge after surgery or trans intervention Defining this procedural success, we have uh, seen that uh, in the surgical group, 97% had uh, surgical pr uh, procedural success, while the uh, procedural success was only 65% uh, in the trans cancer group, meaning that 35% uh, of the patients after trans cancer valve repair had at least moderate to severe TR. And that is a very interesting point because when you um, divide uh, the uh, trans valve repair between uh, the patients with successful procedure uh, versus uh, patients with unsuccessful procedure, you can see that you have a significant survival improvement for patients with successful trans valve repair procedure in comparison to medical therapy for in both the low tri score category and the intermediate tri score category, while there was no difference in the high tri score category. And when you look at patients with unsuccessful procedure and you make a comparison with the patients that were medically treated, there was no improvement in survival, whatever, uh, whatever the tri score. So to conclude, first, Trigici saw that uh, the, the tri score uh, accurately predicts uh, mortality rates at two years, whatever uh, the strategy, medical, transcatheter, or surgical. Second, 3G3 showed that a trans cancer valve intervention was associated with a better survival rate than medical therapy at two years in the low tri score category 
and to a lower extent in the intermediate risk score categories, while we didn't observe uh, any improvement in survival rates in the high risk score category. And third, 3 3 highlight the prognostic importance of optimal TR correction, meaning not changing from torrential to severe TR, but changing to a less than uh, might moderate uh, TR. Well, they are really, really fantastic data and also real world data. And uh, it will be even more interesting to see what, uh, what everyone will uh, think in the future about it. So what, uh, what do you think? Uh, what is the future of this field and uh, what this study will have in summary? I hope that uh, there will be two points. First, the results suggest that in patients with severe TR, a curative intervention should be considered at an early stage of the disease, considering the tri score to assess the disease stage. And the second point is that trajectory should guide the design of future randomized controlled trials, aiming to uh, demonstrate the benefit of tri speed valve intervention, because it was only a registry. We have interesting findings, but now we have to demonstrate those findings uh, using randomized control trials and probably that we will need to uh, assess for the tri score because as we have seen if we are looking in the overall population the risk is that we we are not we won't be able to show any uh, survival improvement while some some patients may benefit from this intervention but we have to treat those patients earlier i think it is the main message yeah Totally agree. Thanks so much, Julian. It was really important to talk together. Thank you. And thanks uh, to everyone and continue to enjoy our reports uh, from ESC 2023. Thanks, Julian. Thanks Thank so you much. so much, Alison. Thank you.